Okay. All right, thank you to Manani and to Benjamin for uh, organizing this and putting this together and leading us. Guys, take it away. Okay. All right. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, Agut Maed. And I'm um, uh, glad to see so many faces here on the screen. Sorry we can't do this in person in the shul, but hopefully we'll be able to all be together again back in the shul and, and doing things in the normal way. Uh, to start off tonight with the, uh, with the, with the songs that we'll sing, the, uh, the Gemara tells us in Masaka Sanhedrin that Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi says, Kal ha'omer shira ba'olam hazeh, zoche ba'amra la'olam haba. Is that a person who says shira, a person who sings songs in this world, will merit to be able to sing shiras v'tishbachas, to sing songs of praise to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the world to come based on the Pasuk of Asher Yishvei Vesach Ha'od Yalulucha Sela. We figure with no other better way to, uh, to try to acquire Kachelik in Olam Abba, to be Zohar to Shiraz, is we should sing. So for the first song for tonight, we'll sing a song from Halal. We didn't have opportunity to sing together in Shul. So let's start with the song of Ma Ashiv La Hashem, where David HaMelech says, Ma Ashiv La Hashem Kol Tag Malahi Alai. David Amelech says, he says, what can I? He says, what can I do? How can I offer thanks to Hakadosh Baruch Hu? This is talking. Say Chazal. The Sparna says this is talking. La Asid Lava, in the time of the Kibbutz Goliath, when all the Goliaths are going to come together, is that how are we going to give thanks to Hakadosh Baruch Hu? And uh, he says, David HaMelech says, Kos Yeshua says, so v'shem Hashem Ekro, we're going to lift up a cup of salvation, which is the cause of Yayin, which is the way Rashi learns, and we'll call, and we'll call out to Hashem, Nadarai la Hashem HaShalem, is that we say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we'll pay back our promises that we made over the years, and we say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, if you redeem us, if you take care of us, that we will, that, you know, I will give, I'll bring a carbon toda, I'll give thanks, which is the cause of the yayin, which comes together with the carbon toda. And that is what, that's what we say in this tefillah, where we, we say to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when the time of the salvation will come, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, how can, how, how can I give thanks? Where we know we say in Nishmas, where we know that there's no words to really give thanks to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but what we do is we lift up the cup of wine, and we, uh, we give a toast to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, which is like the Birch HaSal So with that, with that said, let's start the singing Ma'a Shiv L'Hashem. Hallelujah. 
In this capital, we say the words, we say, Ana Hashem, ki ani avdecha, ani avdecha ben is that the, um, the word Ana, usually we translate the word Ana as meaning please, we, it's the usual Lashon of Bakasha. So the question is, if you read the Pasuk, David HaMelech says, Ana Hashem, ki ani avdecha, ani avdecha ben amosecha. David HaMelech is saying, Ana Hashem, that I am your servant, and that I am your servant, the son of your maidservant, that you have released the, uh, the bonds holding me tight. So the Ibn Ezra says is that Ana Hashem, it sounds a little bit strange to mean a lashon of bakosh, a lashon of please, ask not Kaddish Baruch Hu for something. And therefore he says that the word Ana, particularly when it's spelled with a hey, is a lashon of todah, it's a lashon of thanksgiving. So what David HaMelech is saying, he's saying, Ana Hashem, he's saying, thank you Hashem, ki ani avdecha, he's saying, I thank you Hashem for allowing me the privilege to be your servant, but not like any other servant, but rather, ani avdecha ben amasecha, I'm the servant of your maid servant. Because when you have a person who becomes a slave, a person who becomes a slave doesn't usually want to be a slave. So they're usually a type of person who the bond, the shah, has to be tighter on their arms so that they cannot run away. But a person who's an ebed ben amma, a person who's already a second generation, so they've already grown up in that type of environment where it's more subservient. So for that type of person, it's pitach telemasarai. The owner doesn't have to be so afraid that the, that the servant is going to want to try to run away. So what David HaMelech is saying, he's saying, I thank you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, for giving me the privilege of not just being your servant, but being the servant of your maidservant. And the way some of the uh, Mepharshim on the Pasuk explain that this is referring, he's referring to his Alta Baba, he's referring to Rus, is that Rus, that she was the type of person who was Moser Nefesh, in order to be able to come Tachas Kampe Ashkinat, in order to become part of the Jewish people. And that was such, showed such devotion to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is that David HaMelech was uh, always kept that in mind. And he thanks HaKadosh Baruch Hu for this opportunity to have that in his genes, to have that in his DNA, to be someone who is completely subservient and shows love to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in that way. So with that said, please join me in singing Ana Hashem. Ono Hashem, Ono Hashem, Ki Ani Avdecho. Ono Hashem, Ono Hashem,
Thank you. All right. What I'm trying to do is to see if I can connect for the words for the next song through a different way of technology. Um, I'm Rabbi Rothwax, I have no idea how you do all this technology stuff. Um, one second. I yell if there's a reverb there. Um, Let's see. Okay, all right, it's not working. Okay, the next song, the words are not that common, but um, it comes from the, uh, the, the davening that uh, we say on Friday night. And some people also have a custom of saying it on uh, when they count Spirus Omer. And the words are, they're a very, very holy prayer written by Rabbi Nuchunya ben Hakana, which is the words of Anna Bakoach. And the words of Anna Bakoach, which uh, we, we say in, 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 on Friday night, usually we say it right before Lachad Odi, was these words are, they're meyuchas to Rabbi Nuchunya ben Hakana. I don't think the Gemara says specifically anywhere that he wrote these words. But Rabbi Nuchunya ben Akana, the way he's, he's, what he's, one of the things that he's famous for is the, is the tefillah that one says when one walks into the base Medrash and one leaves, is the tefillah that a person prays to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that a person should have atzlacha in their learning and that they should come to the, uh, to the right conclusion in halacha. And the, uh, the prayer of Anu Bakalach is, um, is a very holy prayer. It's a very Kabbalistic prayer in that the Rashi Tevot, the first letters of, the, of, this, of this prayer, which is 42 words, they represent a Shem of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, a name of Hashem that is comprised of 42 letters. We know that the Shem of Hashem, Yud Hei Vav and Hei, is a four letter word, but there's another name of Hashem that's a, four, that's a 42 letter word, which the Sifrei Kabbalah say was a name which HaKadosh Baruch Hu used to create the world, whatever that means, which is why the, uh, it's brought down in Sifrei Kabbalah to specifically sing on a Bakach after we've said the six Mizmorim, which talk about the creation of the world as we usher in Shabbos with singing Lachadudi, which is also, again, a, uh, a, a very Kabbalistic song. So, uh, you, know, so the, you know, the fact that we, uh, we, we are now in the, in the time of Spirit Samer, some people say on a Bakach, I thought it would be a nice idea to, uh, to sing the song, to sing it. I remember in my NCSY days when we would sing on a Bokach, we would only sing the first two lines. But there's a song that uh, came out in Israel a number of years ago where it that's actually goes through the whole, uh, the whole tefillah. So I'd like you to please join me in the song on a Bokach. If you don't have all the words, if you don't know all the words, then uh, please grab the sitter. Um, the tune is a very beautiful tune. Hopefully you'll catch on to it. And I'm sorry, I can't show <laughs> The words on the screen. But that on the Bakah. Oh, 
Why we end at the end of the Tvila, we end up saying Baruch Shem Kavod Malchusol Olam Ve'Ed. You ever wonder why, at the end of that Tvila, we uh, we say Baruch Shem Kavod Malchusol Olam Ve'Ed is because of the loftiness of that prayer, which uh, which represents something that's uh, that's so transcendent with the name of Hashem. So just like after we say Hashem's name after Shema, we say Baruch Shem. That's why we find Baruch Shem Kavod Malchusol Olam Ve'Ed at the end of that one. Pesach, gotta sing Vihisha Amda. So the next song, Vihisha Amda, the question is, what are the words, Vihisha Amda, Allah is saying that this has stood for us and for our fathers, for all the generations. What is the Vihi? What is this thing that stands for us? Rabbi Rathwak spoke the other day that Vihi represents the Vav, the Shisha, Sidra, Mishnah, Chamisha, Chum, Shatara, Seris, Hadibras, and Echad, Elokeinu. A lot of the other uh, commentaries on the Haggadah want to suggest that that's referring to the Brisbane Abbasarim that HaKadosh Baruch Hu promised Abraham Avinu at the, um, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu told him about the Golos of Mitzrayim and the Geula from Mitzrayim, which is the Shoresh, that's the root of all future 
Goliaths and Geulahs is that, you know, that the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu promised that he would take us out and he kept his promise is that that's what has stood for us throughout the generations that Hashem will take us out of this Golis and bring us the redemption. I saw a beautiful answer this year in the Haggadah from Rav Nassim Gestetner, where he writes in his Haggadah, Lahoris Nasan, he quotes from Rav Yaakov Emden in his Siddur, Rabbi Yaakov Emden writes a, uh, quite, a, uh, quite a strong statement. He says that, he says that, um, he says that, the, that the, the, the mere fact that the Jewish people have remained from generation to generation after so many of our enemies have tried to destroy us, we've totally defied the laws, the laws of nature. But we've seen stronger nations come and go but yet us, a small nation, which we're not fighters, but yet we seem to stick around forever and ever, that that itself, says of Yaakov Emden, his words are that, that this mere existence of Klai Yisrael is a bigger miracle than what we saw in Mitzrayim, than what we saw in the Midbar, and what we saw when we came to Eretz Yisrael. That's what Rabbi Yaakov Emden says. It's a pretty, pretty wild statement. So based on this, Reb Reb Nassim Gestetno wants to suggest is that what has stood for us all these generations, what has kept us going all these years, is the fact that we look and we say, how could it be that we're still around? That obviously shows that we're something special, that there's something special that HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves us and HaKadosh Baruch Hu won't let us disappear. And therefore, Behisha Amdala Vaseinu, that this mere existence is what has stood for us is that not just only one has tried, but, but many generations have tried to destroy us. But at the end of the day, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Matzileinu Mi Adam, HaKadosh Baruch Hu has saved us from their hands. So that itself is the Vihi Amda. That's what has kept us going from generation to generation. Please join me in Vihi Amda.
It's beautiful, Benjamin. Next song, as we started off talking about that, uh, that, uh, that you know, singing songs is, is not just about singing the praises of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but also prayer, when we daven, we also, we also sing lots of songs when we pray. The next song is a, is a, is a song, it's actually the words come from the, the Tfilos of Yom and Narayim, which we say on Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, is that on, uh, at Musaf, before we start saying Malchios, Sichronos, and Shafros on Rosh Hashanah, and before we start the Avod of, of the Yom HaKippurim, the Chazan asks, asks Rishos, it's called Natilos Rishos, he says the words, Achilo Lael, Achalef Anav, he turns to HaKadosh Baruch and he says, I, I beseech, ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Laachel is a lotion of hope, to have, uh, to have hope. Says Hakadosh Baruch Hu, I basically ask Hakadosh Baruch Hu permission to be able to daven on behalf of the kahal, on behalf of the tzibur. As the words go, is that we say that La Adam. It's really a pasuk in Mishlei La Adam Ma'arche Lei Umei Hashem Ma'ne Lashon. Is that a person has the ability to set their thoughts through their feelings, but in order to be able to be eloquent in one speech, that requires Siyata Deshmaya, that requires the help of Hashem. And therefore the Chazan says, before I'm about to embark on saying the, the, the key, most important part of the Musaf, he says, Hashem Safasai Tiftachu Fi Agitil Asera, Kudush Baruch Hu, open up my lips and let my mouth say your prayer, let me say your praise. And then we go into the Malchia Sichronus and Shafras on Rosh Hashanah, we go into the Avon of Yom HaKippurim. So the next song is we going to daven on behalf of Klai Yisrael. It's part of singing. This is tefillah as a group, as a tzibur. We should, we should first ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu that as we're about to sing more songs, which are songs of prayer and praise, is HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us a siyat to deshmaya to do it in the most eloquent way. So please join us in singing Achila La'el. Sahai Tifto Ufia 
Same theme as uh, when we daven to our Kodesh Baruch Hu, that our Kodesh Baruch Hu should give us Hatzlacha in our davening. There's another uh, prayer, which uh, which is uh, customary to to be said before a uh, person puts on their talis in the morning. There's another there's another tefila there that we also daven to our Kodesh Baruch Hu to give us Hatzlacha in our tefila, together with other things. And those words. Come from uh, in, in the uh, in the uh, in the in the Lashem Yichud right before putting on the tefill on uh, the talis, the uh, the tefila says Tinatzel Nafshi, Beruchi Ben Ishmasim Utfilasi Min Achitzonim. Is that we daven to Hakadosh Baruch Hu? Is that was we get ourselves ready for tefila, and we say Hakadosh Baruch Hu as I'm about to put on this mitzvah, is that let this clothing protect my nefesh, my ruach, and my neshama, and my tefillahs from the outside, that there should not be distractions that should, uh, that should interfere with my avodah, with my connecting to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And we say, V'yatzileim kanesher ya'ir kino al gozalav yirachev, is that the mitzvah of the talus should, um, should save them, should save the nefesh, ruach, and neshama, and our tefillahs, like an eagle rousing his nest, fluttering over his eaglets. Jeff, I hope you like the word eaglets, right? Al gozalav yirachef, is that that's what, the, that's what we daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is that the talas should serve this, uh, should serve this. In fact, Rav Schwab writes in his, in his, uh, in his Sefer on Tefillah, he says that even though that, you know, where women don't have the mitzvah of talas because it's a mitzvah sasei shazman grama, but he says that the whole idea, he says that the whole idea that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has, that, that people wear clothing, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us the opportunity to be different, 
than animals which do not go with clothing, that they, they go the way our Kodesh Baruch who created them, is that that's, what the, that's one of the differentiators between us and, and animals is that we have, as the Gemara refers to clothing, is that's Kvodah Shaladim, that's the covet of a person. And therefore, even if, whether a person's putting on a talus or not, but just by a person getting dressed and being able to go like a, like a, like a God's mensch, to go like a, uh, like a godly being, is that that is a way to start off the day in order to be able to connect with HaKadosh Baruch Hu as we pray. So please join me in singing the words, Tinat Zal Nafshi. It's a very old song. Um, comes from, I think, from the Zohar album, from, I think, from like the 80s. <laughs> it's pretty old. But please join me in singing this golden oldie, Tinat Zal Nafshi. Tinat Zal Nafshi and we are in the middle of prepared ourselves for davening, so let's, let's join in some davening. The next song that I would like to, uh, for us to sing together is a, um, it's a song from the same album, from the same Zohar album, at least I think that's where it comes from. It comes from the words of the davening that we say in Shachris every morning in the Bracha of Ahava Rabba. After we, uh, we speak about the celestial beings that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has created the world in the bracha of Yotzer Or, we then come to the bracha of Abacher Ba'ama Yisro Ba'avo, and we say, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, yes, you created this whole vast world, but notwithstanding that, you have, um, you have chose us, you chose Kla Yisrael with love, and with that we declare the oneness of God. So in that bracha, we turn to HaKadosh Baruch Hu and we say, Avinu Ahava Rachaman, it's HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the, the merciful father. Look at the Lashon. The Lashon is, we say, Avinu, right? We, call, we don't call HaKadosh Baruch Hu a melech here. We refer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu as our father, the merciful father, HaMerachem, Rachem Aleinu. You think about these words when we sang HaKadosh Baruch Hu, what we always ask HaKadosh Baruch Hu here for is HaKadosh Baruch Hu should give us understanding in order to be able to learn and study the Torah and fulfill the mitzvahs. 
if you look at the expression that we say, Avino Avarachamanhamarachemrachemaleinu, you would think that we're asking our Kaddish Baruch Hu for like, for like just for, for basic life, right? We're asking our Kaddish Baruch Hu, we're using so many terms of mercy. Says the Maharal at the end of Parshas Vayichi, is that a life without Torah is not a life, is that it's something which is lacking. It's the way he uses the expression, it's like chayim b'mikre, there's no, there's no substance to that life. Is that, as, as in Yiddish, it says, it's nishken leben, it's not a life. And therefore we turn to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, by using all these terms of mercy, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, give us mercy and let us be able to understand your Holy Torah in order to be able to learn and to be able to teach and to fulfill all the mitzvahs with love. We, we say that it should be Ba'ahava, which is, uh, and then we go on to say, Ba'ahir and Enu Basarasech HaKadosh Baruch Hu, open up our eyes to your Torah. Let it shine, let, let the light shine. And let our hearts cleave to you, to your mitzvahs. And let our hearts be, uh, be unified with love and awe of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's name. That's such a beautiful prayer. thought on the Yom Tov of Pesach, where we speak about the redemption. What were we being redeemed for? HaKadosh Baruch Hu took us out of Mitzrayim in order to go to Har Sinai to get the Torah. So this is part of part of the Yetzias Mitzrayim. So let us, let us join in, in, uh, in prayer to Davon Takadosh Baruch Hu that it should give us Hatzlacha in our learning in Kiyom HaMitzvahs. We sing, believe in you, we know. We hope in you, let us get. Oh, we knew about our family. Amirahim, Rahim, Aleinu. We sing, believe in you, we know. We hope. Next song is a um, it's a uh, it's a classic, and for me it has a very uh, has a very special, very funny story actually. When um, uh, before I got married, when I was living in Brooklyn in Flatbush, so I used to um, I used to walk into Bar Park for many uh, to go to uh, different tishes on Friday nights in the winter. It was it actually worked out pretty well because Shabbos started so early. Go for a, a long walk, go have a tish, enjoy some singing. And then still come back and get a get a good Shabbos shluf before I had to wake up in the morning. And there was one time where I went, and it seemed like there was a shvita. There was just a total strike. There was not one tish going on um, in uh, in Borough Park. 
And, um, and I was about to walk my way back. I said, I turned to my friend, I said, this is ridiculous. I said, I can't believe we came here for nothing. And we heard some beautiful singing coming from someone's house. So I said, hey, let's go in, let's go join them. So we knocked on the door and um, this uh, Hasidic couple, they opened the door, they invited us in. And, um, and it turns out that the, uh, that the, the Balei Bay, their son-in-law was there, whose name was Moshe Goldman, who was a Bab of Chassid, who composed many songs for the, uh, for the court of the Bab of Rebbe. But in order to break the ice, to see what songs I knew and what, you know, how we can try to sing together, the first song that we sang is this following one, which comes from, uh, from Rav Shlomo Kalbach, of Gam Ki Eilech the Gates HaMaves, Lo Ira Ra Ki Atoyim Adi. Is that we daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu in Tehillim Chav Gimel. The Daven HaMelech says to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he says, is that even if I go in the valley of the shadow of death, he says, I'm not afraid because HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I know you're with me. Is that even though we, we know, even we're in a tough time today, we're in a tzara in the whole world, but if we realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is with us, that's what should give us koach in order to be able to get through these difficult times. So please join me in Gam Ki Eilech, the Gates of Mavis. Lord, 
That's one level. What David Amelok is saying is that recognizing that even in the in the darkest of times, is that Hakadosh Baruch Hu is there to help. Is that he, that's what he says? I have no fear because I know you're there with me. Says David Amelok. Then it can be a person who's on another level. Is that what the pasuk tells us in the Tochacha? Hakadosh Baruch Hu says that you know, if Pla'i Yisrael don't follow in the ways of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will meet, will meet justice and punishment. So the Pasuk goes on to say, Va'anochi haster haster is panai v'yom ahu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says that I will surely hide my face from Pla'i Yisrael at that time. What does that mean, HaKadosh? What's the double lashon? Haster haster panai v'yom ahu. I will surely hide my face. So there's the, uh, there's the, the, whether the words are, they're attributed to Rav Nachman, whether Rav Nachman said it or not, I don't know. But Rav Nachman says, is that ba'afilu ba'hastar, is that even in the hidden, even in the, even when things are hidden, as that even when things are hidden, and I may not recognize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is really there, is that I have to realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is there. Because sometimes when things seem so bleak, is that a person feels that their God isn't there, God is not with me. But a person has to realize is that that's, that's, even a, that's like a double Hester, is not even realizing that Hashem is there. What tells Rav Nachman is that even in the time where things seem hidden, the person has to realize that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is right there. And where do I, I, I once heard from Shira smiles from uh, Judah's, Judah Isaac's sister. And uh, she was here a while back. She had, um, she had shared the following idea. And when she was here last for Eitan's Bar Mitzvah, I remember discussing it with her again, is that when it says HaKadosh Baruch Hu in the time of Hester Panim, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is, is hidden, is that what does that mean? Is that if I'm, let's say, a mile away from you, I don't need to put something in between me and you in order for you not to see me because I'm so far away. The only time you need to put a divider, you need to put a masach, you need to put something in between is when someone is very close to you. So if you think about it, when we talk as man of Hester Panim, when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is hidden from us, is that, is that, that just means that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is so close. All we need to do is take away that veil that is in between us in order to get closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Maybe that's also part of the idea of what we dive in here in Vafilu Vahastara is that even when HaKadosh Baruch Hu seems so far away, but he's really, really so close. And all we need to do is break down that barrier. And that's why we say is that Game Achare Hadvarim Hakashem Ha'avrim Alecha is that even behind all these hard things that are befalling on a person, Aniyah made, Aniyah made, Aniyah made. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm standing right there, I'm right behind you. So with that, please join me in singing Ba'afilu Ba'hastara. Ba'afilu Ba'hastara Shebisoha Ha'hastara Bivadai Ga'amsho so Hashem is for La filo be has sorrow. 
Shlomo Melech tells us in Shir Hashirim, which we uh, which we read on Shabbos, says in the um, in the in the fifth parak of Shir Hashirim, where these the uh, the as, as we know according to Rashi, the whole st- story of Shir Hashirim is is talking about the relationship between Hakadosh Baruch Hu and Klal Yisrael. So in the fifth parak, where the uh, the uh, the the, the uh, Shlomo Melech goes on to say, is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu says that I came to connect with you, I came to connect with Klai Yisrael. And what happened is, he says, I came, I knocked on the door. But what happened? The Apostle goes on to say, Ani, Ani belibier, is that Klai Yisrael said, well, I already went to sleep. In other words, I already got rid of the all of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the yoke of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I decided to leave it all. It says, uh, you know, um, uh, HaKadosh Baruch Hu knocks on the door and says, open up, my beloved one, open up the door, let me come and connect with you. But yet what happens is Kla Yisrael answers back in Pasuk Gimel. He says, Pashati is, is, is kutanti. He says, I've already gotten changed. In other words, I've already taken off my clothing of, of my connection with you, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I've already washed my feet, which have shown my path, which is, which, you know, which represents the footsteps and following in your path. Is that, how can I get my feet dirty? It's, it's, it's too late now. But then what happens? HaKadosh Baruch Hu walks away, says, uh, says Shlomo Melech. And what happens? Kali Yisrael goes to answer the door and says, you know what? I changed my mind. Let me go to the door and go open the door for my beloved one, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And what happens? The Pasuk, Pasuk Vav says, Kali Yisrael opens the door. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu left. HaKadosh Baruch Hu turned the other way. It's too late. You didn't come to the door. And then what happens? Kal Yisrael go through all the tsaras of the different nations hurting us. But then the Pasuk says, is that Kal Yisrael says to the nations of the world, 
is that I is that I make you swear to those who are all going to descend, uh, who are going to ascend to Yerushalayim. If you're going to find my beloved one on the day of judgment, what are you going to tell him? Shecholas ahava ani is that I bore all these travails for the love of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Is that the truth? Is that even though I may have made mistakes along the way, but my I do have a total uh, devotion to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and that all the suffering that we've gone through in this Golos has been has been because of our love for Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and that we've stuck through it. And therefore, therefore, that's the uh, that's what we're saying here to to tell the nations that don't 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 forget is that the reason why we've we've suffered all these generations is because of our love and our we still have continued to be devoted to Hakadosh Baruch Hu. That's Ishpati Aschem, Ishpati Aschem Benos Yerushalayim. Ishpati, 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 Ishpati Yisrael, Ishpati So that's that's looking at you know davening to Hakadosh Baruch Hu to help us get through it all, but then there's got to come to an end. There's got to be an end of this gullus, which is the yom of of Pesach is the yom of Geula, which is what we long for, what we daven for. So the uh, the David Amelach says in Kapitel Tzadi Aleph in Yoshev the Seisur El Yon, which is a uh, capital which David Amelach talks about the uh, devout person, about how, how they connect to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So at the very end of, of Kapitel Tzadi Aleph, David HaMelech says, Orech yomim asbiehu va'areyu b'shuasi, is that what this, what this means, is that a devout person will live, will first of all, will have long life, which means they'll have a long, meaningful life. We don't know what's considered long life, what's not. 
But the way in Mepharshim explained is that Arichus Yamim means, and Rabbi Rothwax has spoken about this on many occasions in Shul, when we've spoken, when he's spoken about learning Shnan Mirkavach Targum, is that Arichus Yamim Vashanim means having a meaningful, uh, meaningful life. Is that we say, Arich Yamim Aspi is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will make the life of a devout person meaningful, Va'arehu Bishuasi. And that person will also merit to see in my salvation. They will witness my salvation. The question is, what does it mean, my salvation? The Radak says that this is referring to Mashiach, is that when the Kodesh Baruch Hu will ultimately bring the Mashiach and end this bitter galus, is that, is that that's what it means, is that devout people will be able to merit to be able to see this. The question is, if you look at the words, what does it mean? Va'arehu bishuasi. If we say Hakadosh Baruch Hu is going to is, will bring a salvation to those who are devout, it should say, we say orechemim aspi ehu va'arehu bishuaso. If Hakadosh Baruch Hu is going to make a devout person's life fulfilling and meaningful, then it should say va'arehu bishuaso, and he will witness in his salvation. What does it mean? He will witness in my salvation with the capital M. So the Medrash Shochan Tov explains that the salvation of Klai Yisrael when Hakadosh Baruch Hu brings the ultimate geula is that that is also going to be a geula of Hakadosh Baruch Hu, because as long as we're in Galus, Hakadosh Baruch Hu is also in Galus. Is that shchinta begalusa? is that as much as we're in Golis, which is very painful for us, as we have we suffered so many generations, but at the same time, the Shekhinah is not in its proper place either. We don't have the base on Mikdash. And therefore, when we say, is that, yes, the devout person will be able to witness the Geula, but it will also be a time where HaKadosh Baruch Hu will also be able to witness his own Geula when he gets redeemed in, uh, in the time of Mashiach. Please join us in Orech Yomim Asbiyehu. Please clap your hands and join. This is a fast one. Orech Yomim Asbiyehu Biyarehu Vishu Asi Orech Yomim Asbiyehu Biyarehu Vishu Asi Orech must be a So 
as we talk about the theme of Gula, or we talk about Mashiach coming, the, um, the next song is, a, um, is, a, is a, another fav- one of my favorites. It comes from the Haftorah of Parshas Kisavo, which is towards the end of the Shiva de Nechemta, where Yeshaya Hanavi tells, tells uh, Klai Yisrael, Kumi ori kiva oreich. It's really talking on behalf of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but it's the, it's the Haftorah where HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I, you know, that there will, there will be the ultimate geula, where things will turn around, and there will be, uh, there will be the ultimate redemption and the rebuilding of Yerushalayim. So on that, the Yalkut Shemoni tells us the following words. He says, B'Sha'a Shemelech HaMashiach Ba. Let's pull it up here. He says, B'Sha'a Shemelech HaMashiach Ba. He says that when the, when the time when the Melech HaMashiach will come, or made al gag beis hamikdash. He says that the Melech Hamashiach is going to stand on the roof of the beis hamikdash. Who mashmi al Yisrael va'amerin is going to say to all of Klal Yisrael, Anavim, Anavim, is those who are humble. He gi'az man gulaschem. The time has come to re- to redeem you. Vim ena tem aminim. If you don't believe, ru'u ba'arisha zareach. He says, look at my light that is. That is, uh, that is shining, that where the, where the sun is starting to come up. In other words, it's the beginning of the redemption. And, and therefore, the question is, why is Melech HaMashiach standing on the roof? Why does he have to stand on the roof? So people can hear him, so people can see him. The answer is, is that the Melech HaMashiach is not a kind. So he's not allowed to stand in the Azara. That's, that's not for him to be there. He has to be outside. But all it is, he stands on the roof in order to call out to Klai Yisrael to say that the time, that's, that's the time, to, um, you know, to, as we say, the herald of Mashiach to come and to, and to everybody to come back to Zion. And that's what we hope for. And that's part of the, the Haftorah, which we're going to say on the last day of Yom Tev, which is Od Hayom Beno of Lamod, where we talk about the, the future, the ultimate redemption, which is the conclusion of, of, of Pesach. And the Navi goes on to say, Vayetzei Choter Mikeza Yishai, and which talks about the ultimate redemption. It's the Haftarah, which those who, uh, who say the Haftarah on, on Yom Atzmaut, it's also part of, the, part of the tefillah there. And therefore, that's what we ultimately what we hope and pray for, is that yes, it's been a bitter gallus, and yes, it's been very difficult, and we're going through a very difficult time now, but we do believe with, the, we say, we are ma'aminim, that the Kurdish Baruch Hu will bring the Geula, and therefore, we, we, uh, we say, I could, therefore, the Melech HaMashiach says that if you don't believe it, it says, look, look at the light, you'll see everybody coming back. So please join me as we dive in for the Melech HaMashiach with these words of Bashar Shemelech HaMashiach Ba. Bishon, she never 
got born. Be sure she met the father she has born. Before we, uh, before we uh, do our last and concluding song, I'd like to just first uh, give a, a special thank you to Benjamin Ginsberg, who is a, um, is a friend and, uh, and a colleague. Um, in my prior life, I had the, uh, the merit to play with him on many occasions, uh, many simchas. Uh, for those who don't know, I, I, I play the drums. No, they're, they're in the basement now. Um, I look at them more than I play with them. But I had the, um, the uh, it was actually an honor and a pleasure to play with Binyamin um, um, previously in my, in my prior life. Um, Binyamin is, a, is an amazing musician. Um, he, um, I'm sorry, but I don't mean to embarrass you, Binyamin, but <laughs> uh, first of all, he's a, he's, a, he's a Talmud Chacham. When I speak with him, he always has a vark, he always has uh, his Torah to share. But as a musician, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's right up there. First of all, is, uh, whenever we had any interesting requests from Bale Simcha, even if they were the most ridiculous last minute requests, he always got all those requests fulfilled. And his uh, breadth of, of knowledge of music is, uh, is, is quite something. He, uh, he actually has a, um, a Breslov uh, band that he, uh, that he, uh, that he has, um, does klezmer music does standard music that, that you know it's simcha music which i which i've played a lot with him and um does one man stuff he's just really phenomenal and he's actually here in our backyard he's on the other side of windsor road in bergenfield so um so thank you Binyamin. we really really appreciate it um uh the last song which i would like to sing is on the theme of 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 the uh of mashiach coming and building the base hamikdash we got to end with the song of Yibane HaMikdash. We say in in um, in Tzur Mishalai Yibane HaMikdash, Irtzion Tamale, is that we sing in the uh, in that uh, in that it's the last stanza of of Tzur Mishalai. We haven't talked Kodesh Baruch Hu is that Kodesh Baruch Hu should build the base of Mikdash, Irtzion Tamale. Kodesh Baruch Hu should fill the should fill Tzion. V'sham Nashir Shir Chadash. Remember, we started off talking about a Shir. Is that now we sing a shir with the hope, as uh, as the Gemara says in Sanhedrin, that we should be able to participate in that future song. And notice over here also, we say Harachaman Hanikdash. It's not part of this tune, but Harachaman Hanikdash is for of the Yisale Al Kos Yayin Malay Kavir Kas Hashem. Again, we talk about this Kos Yayin that we're going to hold up of Kos Yeshua as the Saw of Hashem Hashem which is what we started with. So please join me as we as we sing. Yibane HaMikdash, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu should build the base HaMikdash speedily in our days. And we should, all be, we should all merit to join together there to bring Karbanas and to rejoice with HaKadosh Baruch Hu.
Clap your hands and join together. Benjamin, and thank you, Aliza, for pinch hitting with the screen, with the uh, with the source sheets. I really, really appreciate it. I all typed up, but was not able to work out the technology. So thank you so much, and thank you, Benjamin, and thank you all for joining. And hopefully, we'll be able to all rejoice together in the base Hamigdash and to sing Shiras Vetishbachas in front of our Kaddish Baruch Hu in the base Hamigdash Bekar of Mamish. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, good mud. A good mud. Thank you very much. Thank really you. wonderful. All right, be well. Thank you. All right, Thank bye. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. It's done. Yep. Yeah.